search here for the backyard driver range. As you can see, I'm hitting my hybrid. This happens to be a, it's called a plus three, 18.5 degrees. And I'm hitting it today because today's question involves hybrids. Before we start and read the question, I just want to show you one thing as to why uh, some of the, I believe hybrids are so good for most of us. If you look here at my hybrid, which is a three iron and my three wood, and my three wood is extra short. It's only 42 inches long. And uh, cause I have, I swing all shorter clubs. I have extremely short, long arms for my height. But look at my hybrid. It's all of, it's all of one, two, it's two and a half, if not almost three inches shorter. In many cases, I keep hearing time and time again when y'all sending questions and stuff about issues with your with your game you having trouble hitting your drivers and three woods but not so much with your hybrids uh, and irons why the hybrids not an issue because hybrids are built shorter to be to match and match up to be and swing more like irons and with the heads and the more loft on them they get the ball higher up in the air which is you know, higher they go farther than hitting low bullets okay so this 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 uh, question comes from Barry it was sent in and Barry spells his name with a B-A-R-R-I-E and Barry says love your instruction and having great success using your swing like many oldies I have changed my longer irons for hybrids and now carry a 35, 30, 25, 21 and 17 degree hybrids instead of irons my longest iron is a 7 iron can you do a bit on ball position for hybrids please have tried placing the ball forward in a stance like a three wooden driver but ball goes too high back in the stance and I tend to hit the ground rather than the ball which is correct please alright so I've already made a few comments about hybrids I'm going to say this that that this is almost sort of like nothing new I'm when I was a kid caddying back in the early 60s to mid 60s uh, we actually had one gentleman in our club that that even back then he had basically a whole bag of woods. The only two irons in his bag were his pitching wedge, sand wedge. And, and all the rest were woods. I remember back then it was a company named Stan Thompson. And they were pretty cool looking clubs. And, and uh, Stan Thompson, I remember years ago, came out with a Ginty. That was a great club. It had a, it had a, it was a small head back then, like, like back then, like a five wood head. And they put a little extra metal on the bottom in the, in the, to help dig through the rough better and it had a much more rounded sole and so uh, so hybrids have been around for a long time uh, and that when, when when this gentleman started getting into his his uh, six iron five iron four iron three iron they were just about the length of of what are just a fraction longer than what a five iron would have been then but they weren't too long so the first key with hybrids is they're they work because they're shorter and I would think that if you're having trouble uh, hitting your driver or three wood or a regular five wood in your bag and you're hitting your hybrids and irons good and and think about getting your driver cut you know those clubs that you're not hitting well shorter so uh, that's the big issue about the, uh, the hybrids because they're they're woods they can they can adjust the weight move it farther back from the head to help the ball get up in the air more and 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 being shorter and with more with the uh, with the head and the, and the loft on them and the way they design the heads poof you get you can knock that ball in the air so much better but as Barry has shown you still need to be playing that ball in the right place now again Barry talks about about he's moved the ball forward and he's hitting the ball too high and then he puts it back and he starts chunking it all right first question again comes back to the good old same old alignment that could be causing a problem but assuming all those things are, are together basically I think a hybrid if I'm gonna play a driver say off directly off my heel I'm gonna have the hybrid just a little bit farther back now again, I don't know how far back Barry put it. If he put it back here, that could be causing a problem. All right. And again, another thing you have to look at is is that say somebody, uh, you always want your nose at the golf ball. All right. You want your nose directly looking at the golf ball. If your head is is cocked a little to the right and you put the ball back, you'll be hitting it way too soon. And if and in many cases, if it's too far forward and your head's cocked back, you can do everything from chunking it to topping it. And 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 even swinging under it if you're coming into the ball the proper way so ball position is critical all right F playing from a square setup is critical to go with it so what I would say Barry is you mentioned that you put the ball forward you put the ball back but you didn't mention anything about trying it in between those two positions wherever how much forward was you had it and how much back was you had it all right 
So I think I think that if you're looking at middle of your stance, I'm going to try to play this directly in the middle, and I think and I can hit. I hit it very good from there. So I think the answer might be middle to just a little left of middle, or forward of middle. Okay, and uh, but the key is is again based on on uniquenesses in your setups and your swings or whatever. You 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 can you can you can fool around and find the proper bat the the proper. Uh, position of your ball. And what I normally say is anything to do with testing something out, you start out one extreme and start working towards the other way and see where it finally works. Just like uh, when I put in magic tape, uh, what I call magic dust lead tape on my clubs, I start in one place and I'll hit a ball or two and if it feels pretty good I'll move, I'll put a little bit more, or I'll move it a little bit to see and at some point it starts going it goes from good, it might get a little bit better, and then it gets worse, then you know you've gone too far. So you could start, say maybe here, put something down here where you can check your ball position and start up forward, and if it's not what you like, the, the hit you're looking for, the feel of the hit, the, the solidness of the hit, the trajectory and flight pattern of it, then you just keep moving yourself a little bit more forward, and, and your foot forward, and, and, and the ball, conversely the ball's going back, until you reach a point where you can get it so someplace, and then, and then you, you're going to start thinning them out or maybe even topping them. So again, it's trial and error. Sometimes you stay within the parameters of what the surge swing is for the setup and the swing, but we have to find what is exactly the proper place, the best for us. And so trial and error is acceptable. We give you the parameters, I give you the parameters, and now that this is to here to here is okay, but you gotta find out where exactly is right with you. All right, so don't be scared. So start maybe at the, at the ball, at the forward position, and keep working a little bit back. And I got a feeling probably center to just a little left of center, forward of center, and you'll be, you'll be hitting it dead solid, dead solid perfect. And that, that's gonna give you maximum ball flight, speed off the club, and trajectory and flight pattern, and very likely hitting it much more, much more straight too, which is gonna help you shoot those lower scores. So Barry, go ahead and do the test, find out for yourself, but I got a feeling it's gonna be more, more towards the center or just a little forward of center. Well, that's it for the search for today on hybrids are really good clubs, and it can really help us all hit a lot, a lot better uh, shots and hit, shoot lower scores because they're shorter, and that's why they probably should be in everybody's golf bag. Again, that's it for the search for today, and I'll be talking to you all again soon.